So colorimetry is a way of um, looking at what um, makes up a different substance. Um, I'm going to show you how to set it up in the lab. You need a bit of filter paper with the pencil line drawn about two centimeters from the bottom. Just press that against your beaker and um, take a splint and wrap it around the top so that when you pop it back in your beaker, like that, um, the bottom of the filter paper doesn't quite touch the bottom of the beaker. Secure that with a paper clip and then on the uh, pencil line we need to draw some dots of colours. Um, so dark colours, permanent marker pens work really well for this. Uh, so it's a dot of red. Um, black is an excellent colour for doing this. Um, it doesn't work great with all um, felt tip pens. Um, I have a stock of colours that I know work really well, so I'll keep those for doing um, stuff like this. Pop that into there, and then I'm just going to fill it up with a bit of water. So you want your water, um, I'm just putting the pet of water in with the pet. Um, you need to be really careful when you're adding your water so you don't get your filter paper absolutely soaking wet. Um, but you want your water level to be between the bottom of the filter paper and the pencil line that you've drawn. And what's going to happen is the filter paper is going to soak up the water and it is going to take the colour with it as it moves up the, um, up the paper. So if I just bring you in a bit closer, you can see... Go on, Beaker. Here we go. We can see that the level of the water is in between the bottom of the paper and the pencil line, and we can see already that the colours are starting to move up um, the paper, and we can see that are starting to separate out. Um, we'll come back to this um, once it's once the water's moved all the way up to the top of the paper. So our chromatography um, has reached the, the water lines, reached the top, um, and we can see that it's all spread out into some really quite pretty colours. I do like this moment, it's very, very pretty. Um, so the red, um, we've got some nice uh, pink at the top there, if we can see that, and red. The black's kind of uh, starts off black, we can see some blue, some greens in there, um, and then it goes to a purple. Um, the, the two felt tips, the brown and the grey, they kind of like mainly blue with some nice hues at the bottom here and then the um, other dark brown pen starts off black and then moves up through purple and yellow. It's a really quite a nice experiment to do this one and really easy to actually do at home. You can do it with felt tip pens or you can do it with food colouring. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.